pelicans are vanishing from the Great Salt Lake. Is it a sign of a more serious problem? News Plus host Shelby Lofton takes us up in Chopper 5 to see where the birds have nested for years. She asked an expert why their population in Utah is declining and why it matters to us at all. Pelicans are large, smelly, and sometimes mean birds. They like to be left alone without any disturbances. That made the Great Salt Lake's Gunnison Island a perfect home for them until recently. I mean, Gunnison Island is a, a, just a tough, harsh environment. The land is isolated, surrounded by incredibly salty pink waters, perfect for pelicans. Pelicans actually like nesting in really remote areas. They're susceptible to disturbance. Biologists with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources take trips to the island to ban the birds. Let us know where they've been, uh, if they do return to the island, and then survival. To give the pelicans their space, they fly over the island to take photographs and count them. We average around 10 to 12,000 breeding adults. That number has dropped this year. We did our first aerial count. Uh, there was uh, 2,500 to 3,000. Drastically. And since that time, all of them have succumbed to the exposure or just uh, being predated on. Luft and his team didn't see one pelican. It's a lot of uh, dead chicks and eggs. Footage from Chopper 5 today shows a small group of the pelicans just offshore. A lot of the pelicans that you see here at Great Salt Lake are not breeders. They're out here just taking advantage of the fishery. Love says a lot of them have moved to other western states because their commute to find fish was simply too long. Air River Bay or Willard Spur, that's usually where a lot of the, these birds travel to. Uh, that's a 30 mile one way flight. Due to low lake levels, Gunnison Island is no longer an island, making them vulnerable. It provides a land bridge for these uh, mammalian predators. Scientists have tested the animals for disease. Now None of the birds that we tested were positive for avian influenza. Luff says it's still possible it impacted some of the birds, but there's no indication it's happened. The expert is certain we'll see a number of pelicans again. Pelicans will be back next year. Their absence is a reminder that the problems plaguing the Great Salt Lake are far from over. If they've got issues, then we're going to have issues. And Luff told me he's optimistic the pelican population will return to the Great Salt Lake and recover. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.